Oh my god. What you see in the distance is Kib's car, late to the Rooster Teeth family reunion. Oh yeah, there he is. I bet you he's not gonna pull up into the driveway, he's gonna take only the road. And there he goes, missed it completely, Jesus Christ. And he just kept driving. I tried to call him, he didn't answer his phone. I even went down to the driveway to chase after him, which is when I had my spill. a great start to the day, especially when we were about to go to the streamies and lose every single award. Are you ready for Special this? day. Special day. Oh, wait, there's Kib. He went to go try on suits. It's interesting how things work out when people don't go where they're supposed to, and they go somewhere else instead. It's interesting how that happens. Typically for these occasions, you would wear, like, black and white, but, you know. Well, no, I think it's pretty open. Yeah. I mean, gray's okay. fine. Gray's okay. Fine. So groomsmen can wear gray, too. That's cool. We, what? We didn't tell Devin about the streamies because he's new to the group and doesn't deserve to go. So he assumed <laughs> James trying on suits was for a wedding. Oh, James's no. wedding. Speaking of which, this was recorded about two days ago. Ever since then, I actually haven't heard from James. But that's a story for a different time. I like this vest. I've never worn a vest before, man. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, it's exciting. Okay. He hasn't told me yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to ask Where? me to be his best man. <laughs> what do you think this is, Devin? No. Uh, yeah. I just don't know what you're talking about, but I like winking with you. I haven't written my speech yet, but... Your speech? Yeah. No, you know you're not doing a speech, right? You know, everyone stands up, you take a champagne. No, it's just... I, I'm, this time it's just going to be like me, Steve, James, Autumn standing up. And yeah, all in the audience, and then when I... No, 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 on the stage. next to him and Lauren. By the podium. I've known James for 10 years. Irrelevant. Yeah. And I... You know what I mean? I know, it needs work. I'll polish it. You know, it's... I love the song. I just wanted to say hi, James. You'll probably watch this later. Um, I'm so happy for you. And... Devin, what are you doing? I'm recording my... No, was it prenuptials? Your Pre eulogy? This my poor prenuptial guy video. thinks he's going to a wedding. Are you married? <laughs> Good one. This poor guy, he doesn't know. Yeah, I actually think they're just okay. I mean, for you guys, I think they work. But what I'm gonna do is actually have a phone call with Gucky outside. I'm gonna have mine what? rented. I'm what see did if you I just can say? You have a phone, Gucci, you have a phone call with Gucky? I misspoke. I misspoke. But you guys are great. These are beautiful for you guys. For you guys. For you guys. But I'm a little shark skin. Don't wipe it the other way. Oh! Why did you tell me it was Sunday? What? Already? The award ceremony. The streamies are Sunday night. What do yeah. you think this is for? So is it... Is your wedding before? My don't, wedding? I'm not getting married, dude. Don't get cold feet now. He thinks I'm getting married. <laughs> I'm missing my call almost. What's that? He <laughs> thinks I'm getting so married. Troll. That explains a lot. Devin, do you know he's not getting married, right? I'm not getting married, dude. I would For let you know before, like, uh, well beforehand. Yeah. Great. I'm glad that was settled. I was really hoping that I wouldn't see Devin at so the streamies. I was also troll. hoping I wouldn't see Kid because he left me to die at the Rooster Teeth family reunion, where my Steve! only source of joy was playing with the walkie-talkie. Someone tell me I'm lonely. I've got a medical emergency too. My oh my, my asshole's open. I don't think there's even anything getting through to be honest. Do you feel in charge? Emergency of medical emergency? No. That means I'm gonna come. Was there anything coming through on the no, walkie talkie? That's what she said. Yeah. Oh yikes! Yeah. I was escorted out, but that's fine. I had to go lose some awards anyway. If there's one thing I hate, it's being Steve! in public places with all these people. And then also, wow, Devin kept scaring me. How are you feeling about tonight? Do you think we have a good chance of winning show of the year? I think we have a good chance of doing something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're gonna Dude, win. I'm ready to fight someone, man. The chances of us winning anything were slim to none, especially when Autumn was as drunk as a mule. <laughs> when you look around the room, you dating. see all these elegantly dating. dressed Definitely professionals. Dating. And then you get to our group. Sure, we're dressed well Have to an to extent, but we're goddamn animals. Baby Nothing siblings, about us screams siblings. industry. Actually, no. Hand on chest, siblings. What? Nothing about you screams Final industry in the siblings. slightest. Except for this hot flannel I'm wearing. Better luck at catch you like I'm about to get an 8 out of 10. Better luck at catch you like you're gonna get a what the fuck does that Oh my god! We were 
we're all pretty much ready to lose all the awards tonight. We had previously lost two for best directing, best editing, which made sense. We lost directing to a legitimately highly produced show, and we lost best editing to The Game Theorist, which is an amazing show. So we had some pretty tough competition, and honestly, we were just glad to be nominated. Well, some of us were. I don't really think Autumn knew what was going on the entire time, especially after drinking 14 mahogany daiquiris. By about one hour in, Autumn had completely lost all motory functions. I specifically didn't want to drink because I wanted to feel all the pain of losing each award. Hey, Steve. Yes, I hear you. No, 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 no. Of course, we're nominated for this one. Keep an eye out, all right? Hello, everyone. We're here today to announce the nominees for the Comedy Award at the Streamies. Rudy Mancuso. Loser. And Sugar Pine 7. Do you ever think that you make something good, like a good product, and then you see it displayed in front of countless other people and you think to yourself, oh, that is not, originally I thought that was a lot a lot better than it was, but then like viewing it with everybody and then uh, seeing how they all react to it, maybe it's just us that thinks we're funny. We all killed Parker accidentally. <laughs> no, just And the streaming goes to Well, there went our only shot at winning, because there was no doubt in our mind show of the year was going to Philip DeFranco. And rightfully so, he has a great show and he campaigned hard, but maybe we win something next year. To present our final award of the night, please welcome one of the biggest stars in the entire world, Lisa Cash. <laughs> Though I was dead set on losing, I was looking at all of the nominees displayed on the screen, and I was honored to be listed in a category with them. So even knowing that we were going to lose, I wasn't feeling guys. down on myself. I was just proud. Oh, shit. And those streaming goes oh, to shit. Sugar Pine Seven. Oh my gosh. How does that only have 577,000 views? Like, that's a lot of views. Welcome but I back. Feel like now with that production quality, it should be so much more. I don't know. That was pretty cool. So they won show of the year, but lost comedy of the year. How does that happen? You know? They didn't want to give them two streamies, you know. They had to. They had to pass around their the awards for everyone, just to be more fair, <laughs> you know.